watched a Nitro documentary, you'll have seen competition in action. Lions fighting for territory, turtles competing for mates, and monkeys fighting over each other's food. These are all examples of competition, and today we're going to look at a few more. There are many organisms in any given community, and they all require resources, for example food or territory. These things are limited, so competition takes place when each individual attempts to secure the resources it needs. Competition can take place between different species, for example, different tree species in a forest competing for light. It can also take place within a species. This is often more intense competition, as the individuals require exactly the same resources. Let's look at animal competition. First of all, animals compete for food. Here we can see seagulls fighting over some chips. This is a really common form of competition. Secondly, animals compete for territory, which is just space. Lions are very territorial, and there is usually just one adult male in each pride. Pet cats are territorial too, and most cat fights are as a result of overlapping territories. Thirdly, animals compete for mates, or sexual partners. There are lots of adaptations in the animal kingdom to win mates, including the amazing male peacock's feathers. Males will often fight each other as well for access to females. Now let's look at plant competition. Plants compete for light, growing as quickly as possible vertically to reach the sunlight, or having large thin leaves to increase the surface area and maximize light absorption. Plants also compete for space, Often they're very crowded, so they spread their roots, stems and branches. And when they disperse their seeds, they try and get the seeds as far away as possible from the parent plants. This means that the seeds will have enough space of their own to grow. In this example, you can see that the dandelion is using wind to spread its seeds. But water and animal dispersal are other methods. And finally, plants compete for both water and minerals from the soil. Their roots absorb both of these, and so the roots will spread as much as possible to absorb what the plant needs. Now it's time for some questions. You'll notice the second one is more of a data question. These types of questions are really likely for the ecology topic, so it's good to practice them. Pause the video, grab some paper and a calculator, and give them a go. Then press play to go over the answers. Okay, number one. In each situation below, competition is happening. Suggest which resource is being competed for. First up, male deer fighting with antlers. This is competition for mates. Bamboo plants growing vertically very quickly is competition for light. And hyenas fighting over a dead animal's carcass. This is competition for food. Two, trees may compete for water. From the information below, determine which tree is the most efficient at water uptake and show all working. Okay, so we've got two trees, and the daily water uptake is in litres. And then we've got those results. And the dry mass of plant is in kilograms. But we can see that these are different. So as they're different, this means we can't actually compare them just yet. We'll need to, first of all, work out the water uptake in something that is comparable, which is litres per kilogram. That slash just means divide. So all we need to do is take the amount in litres and divide it by the amount in kilograms. So we do 12 divided by 120, and on our calculator, that gives us 0.1 litres per kilogram. And we'll do the same for the apple tree. We'll do five divided by 40. And this time in our calculator, it gives us 0.125 litres per kilogram. As the units are now the same, we can compare them. And when we do that, we see that the apple tree has a higher water uptake per kilogram, which means the apple tree is more efficient. That's a hard one, but how did you do? Adaptations are key to survival and some crazy ones have evolved over time. Watch my next video and please subscribe if you found this useful. Thanks and bye!